If you don't know my heart, you're never gonna break it, yeah, yeah. Yo! What's good, Tristans? And Tristan. And Blinks. What up? Nice to meet you. If you've never seen me before, or if you're a repeat offender, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Before we jump into this, I I'm sitting, wait. I actually, I don't really have anything else to do, so. Don't have any friends. Don't really go outside. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I'm also on TikTok now, kind of. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Okay. Jenny? Of course it is. Lisa? What up? Just a of course. Rose! Oh. Is that Jenny? Dude, her voice is crazy. Hold on a second. I just had to check and be sure that it was legit. Okay. All right. I just had to be sure, you guys, because sometimes when it comes to like studio performance, especially when it's like K-pop and stuff like that, you don't always know what they're going to sound like behind the scenes. And when I heard Jenny hitting some of those notes, I was like, pretty legit, dude. No love letters, no X notes, no love, never my exes, no, no diamond rings that's set in stone to the left, better left alone. Didn't want to be a princess. I'm priceless. A prince not even on my list. Love is a drug that I Does she rap too? Did I miss that somehow? Is my bias changing? <laughs> it was Rose at first, but now I'm starting to get a little bit into Jenny over here. I quit, no doctor could help when I'm lost. Oh my god, she's so good too, dude. Okay, so we can talk I want to talk about their voices just a little bit here while we're in the middle of the song. A huge thing that I love about Jenny's voice. I'm gonna talk about Jenny, I'm gonna talk about Rosé, because they both just came up. I love the fullness and the darkness in Jenny's voice, and I think it adds so much extra texture. I, I didn't even know she freaking rapped, dude. But I think that adds so much extra texture to the upbeat vocals, is having her dark, full voice, especially hitting those high notes in the chorus, which is freaking nuts. And then we have Rosé, who takes like more of a light, bright, poppy approach. She tends to close things down a bit more no, 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 and keep her voice a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit twangier. And both their voices together are just like, they, they match together so well. Jisoo? Dude, this song. Oh my god. Dude, okay, so the way that she approaches these notes I think is so super cool because she does a really good job. At least I, I would have to hear it like live to 100% know exactly what's going on. But from what I'm hearing in this track, she's changing the way that she approaches her high notes because her low notes have this like full, almost like bark to them. But as she goes up, 
Her voice almost changes into a completely different voice, not in a bad way. She's doing her such a good job of lightening her voice, changing her vowels, and getting it into something that's approachable. But let me see if I can find a good example here. Love. She does that in the lower part of her voice, and she does this in a few different places. Na -na -da. She has this like full sound, right? But in the chorus here, ooh, that note has a little bit of like a cry in it that helps to thin it out as it goes up. She's not singing, keeping this uh, voice all the way up. We were born to be alone, which could work, but. I don't think it's quite right for the the style that they're going for. She changes her vowel to like a ba. Uh. She almost sings "We Are Born." We were born to be alone. You see what I'm saying? The difference. And then as she goes up into that next little phrase, yeah, we were born. She goes ba 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 ba. She changes her vowel to more like an a. Ah so that that high note is easier for her. Anyway, it's, it's it, that's super cool. And by the way, that's really not something that you can change. You can kind of change that through studio effects, I suppose, but not really. Like, or, or maybe I'm just naive to all the tricks that studio producers can do, but I feel like she can do that live. They, the writers of this song did such a good job giving each singer a part in this song. It really comes together very nicely, I feel. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting cheated, you know what I'm saying? You hear some Rosé, and then you're like, where's Jisoo? Oh, there she is. And then you're like, oh, but where's Lisa? Oh, there she is. You know what I'm saying? There's always times for like one vocalist to shine and this and that. Like, it, it's you can't get away from that. But I like that it's giving us a little bit of everybody. Dude, that's it. That, wh what did I just say? What did I what did I just say about this song giving each member a little like moment to shine? Like we heard like oh my god, dude. Between freaking Rosé and Jenny, I don't know who's after my heart the most in this because they're both like ah, oh, I love hearing her in more of the I'm not sure if this is would be considered the chorus. It's an outro that extends from the chorus. So let's just call it the chorus. But hearing her have a chance in the chorus is super I don't know. I'm it's good. <laughs> Dude, and then the way that they end that, which is like the, they just cut off all of the crazy dance production. You don't even expect it. Still for love. And I also like that the song doesn't really even come to a conclusion lyrically. Like the whole song is about how, as, as far as I can tell, how about they're confused because they feel like they're meant to be alone but they're still looking for love no matter what, and they can't stop. Oh my God, we're still looking for love is like a little solo line just brings all of it together, I think. This was a really good song, dude. But we're still looking for love. Dude, that ending still gets me. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. If you did, like I said, hit that subscribe button. And check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Let me know when new stuff comes out. Sometimes I'm not gonna I'm not gonna react to everything you guys. I'm not gonna react to everything I know a lot of people really wanted me to react to ice cream. The song wasn't for me Let's put it that way I like to react to stuff that I feel like I'm actually gonna really have something to talk about and something to really say And this song I actually I feel like there was a lot for me to say anyway until next time Tristan and it's just fail. Peace out We are the love sea girls Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, 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 oh. Why don't I know Korean?